my opinion, the nervous system is the most amazing object in the universe. What it's capable of is just mind-blowing. We see colors, we see shapes, we see movement, for example, and everything is integrated by the brain. So we try to understand the very complicated question of how neural circuits in the brain can transform information from the outside world into different behaviors. Just the way an engineer can open a computer, open a toaster, open any type of electronic appliance and get a sense of what that appliance is supposed to do based on the pattern of circuitry, we're trying to ask can we do the same thing in brains. How neural circuits form and function is important for understanding what goes wrong in neurological and psychiatric disorders. It's also just important to understand the basic biology of individual brain cells. What are the molecules, the genes, the proteins that operate within cells of the nervous system? And I think the department is uniquely positioned to address these central questions. What brought me here first and foremost is the people. And I'm talking here about students, postdoctoral fellows, staff members, and faculty. The people who work in this department are really friendly and they're genuinely invested in each other's work. We have a collaborative spirit in the department that facilitates synergistic interaction that would allow for discoveries that wouldn't be made by single individuals. Because of the nature of my work, I have all sorts of insane technical problems that you would imagine that only I have, but it turns out any crazy problem I have, someone else in the department has faced and has already tried to solve. Here at Harvard Medical School, there have been major advances in microscopy and in a field termed optogenetics, and faculty are open and willing to help one another. We, in addition, have core facilities for easy access to new technology and instrumentation. We're really, I think, as a department, kind of dedicated to giving people the supports they need so that they can complete their research. We'll actually work with the researcher to design and develop a novel piece of equipment. So, for example, devices for recording from brain cells. People that come into my facility generally don't have a lot of experience with uh, high-end microscopes. I can provide them some support and training. Mentoring is core to the scientific process. I feel that I've been lucky and blessed in terms of being able to train with some of the best scientists in the world. And I owe it to the people who are working with me to convey what lessons I've learned. I applied to lots of grad schools and I went and interviewed them and the grad students seemed happy here. So I'm in Bruce Bean's lab and his door is always open. We generally talk every day about what's going on, how my experiment went. I've developed a lot of great relationships with different, different mentors here in neurobiology. Not everybody comes to Harvard with the same educational background, with the same cultural opportunities, but that doesn't matter here. Everybody helps each other out. It's exciting to work with brilliant young scientists and it's an inspiration to work in a department where the research is moving forward at such a rapid pace.